All right, hello everyone. This is Kendra Watkins, and this is another edition of the Lunchbox, where um, we talk a Sun business over lunch. And join with me today. I have senior guard Ivan Gandia Rosa joining me. How are you doing, man? Doing good. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm doing well, man. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day and um, just everything that you have going on, because I know you've had a lot going on over the, over the summer. And first and foremost, man, tomorrow is your birthday. So I wanted to say happy belated birthday. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. No problem, man. What do you have anything special that you're going to be doing? Well, not not yet. Maybe going to the beach a little bit. Uh, get some something, something to eat, something nice, maybe some Cheesecake Factory. I don't know. I got to out. <laughs> okay, wow, you guys are going to do it big for the birthday. This is number 22. <laughs> yes, sir. So, I, I remember that age. That's kind of a year decision. <laughs> so that's when everything gets important. That senior year, um, you start making decisions that are that are going to affect everything moving forward. So um, glad to hear that. Um, enjoy your time. And just moving into it, um, I wanted to ask you, because I know you've had a busy summer, so it's going to be good that you're going to have some time off. So I wanted to ask, because this summer you actually competed in the Pan Am Games. Um, you guys actually won a silver medal. I wanted to know, just tell me about your experience with the Pan Am Games. Uh, it was it was definitely a great experience. It was, it was great for me as a player and as a person. Uh, and just being able to, uh, to represent my country, uh, it, was, it was just a blessing. Uh, playing against uh, pro guys, uh, Campaso, Scola, against all of them, it was, mm -hmm. it was a fantastic experience for me. Okay, yeah, I saw that. You played Luis Scola in the championship game in Argentina. And also, you guys, um, actually in the preliminaries, you guys defeated the U.S. national team, 87-84. Yeah. Huge yes, game from you. Had 11 points, four assists, and you went three from four from the three-point line. Just tell me about that ex um, experience, because I know you guys were down 10, and you actually, guys actually came from behind to win. Well, yeah, uh, we were down at the half. Then they made a run out to start the first, the, the second half. Uh, the the coaching staff and my teammates uh, trusted me to uh, to handle the the ball at that moment, and then uh, the game game just came to me. Hit a couple shots, uh, found my open teammates. Uh, we had some some huge stops down the stretch, uh, and then then we just we just ended up winning. Made some big shots at the end, and, and it was it was great. It was a great experience, and then to uh, to reach the the championship was was even better. Uh, a lot of people didn't think we were gonna even win a game out of our group, so to be able to 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 reach to that level was was fantastic. Oh wow! You guys did more than that. You guys went four and one. You guys that's were great. undefeated up until the championship, so that's actually pretty awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, also I wanted to ask you, just um, being in Lima, Peru, um, I know that um, it was an experience just being. Um, out of the country and just gaining that experience. Was there anything personally that you um, benefited from that you wanted to take into the season? Uh, well, I, I learned I learned from from a lot of great players. Like I said, I play with with professional guys already. So uh, once you're a pro, you you do certain th certain things like like you're supposed to do, right? So uh, just learning from all the all all the older guys. I was the youngest on my team, so learning from the coaching staff and the older guys just. Just how to take stuff uh, seriously and uh, and how to do stuff right once you're in the pro level, and then hopefully I can I can uh, relay that to my teammates now uh, this senior year, and and take us to the next level. Okay, awesome. Well, speaking of your teammates, because I know while you were competing in the Pan Am Games, um, just over in your homeland in Puerto Rico, your team they had their own exhibition going on in Puerto Rico where they had three games that they had played. Did you give them any tips, any lay of the land, anything? Yeah, I told them. I told them to eat uh, eat mofongo, which is really, really good. Oh, I know about mofongo. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, and visit the beach. They were they were staying close to the beach. Just enjoy that, cause I feel like Puerto Rico has some of the best beaches in the world. So, and uh, and then over there, just just go and play hard. It, it don't matter who you're playing against. Just just go over there and play hard. Um, I was supposed to be there for the last game, but unfortunately, I couldn't make it. And then they just they just came up with three dubs. That was that was great for us. OK, well, um, I wanted to get more into that because this show is actually called The Lunchbox. So um, I'm forsaking my lunch to talk and work. So just tell me, um, Puerto Rican dishes, what are some of your favorite? I know Mufongo is one. So uh, Mufongo, I like I like arroz con andules, which is okay. rice and, and pigeon peas. I like pernil, which is a pork. I love pernil. Yeah. Yeah, I love pernil. And also on the side, I like tostones too. 
Okay. Uh, it's, it's just. <laughs> it's you just know, you're making me hungry. It's you just are so, much, so making me hungry. It's so much stuff that that the Puerto Rican cuisine can can do is 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 amazing. Yeah, I'm actually from Tampa, so I know about um, some yeah. of the Spanish dishes, and yeah, pernil was one of my favorites. There was actually this one place that it. made it with tostones. Yes, loved it. I love. So. Yeah, it's, it's the best. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, I wanted to ask you, um, just growing up, um, when um, you started playing and everything, just name me some of the players that you grew up idolizing, some of the players that you actually wanted to model your game after. Well, uh, growing up, I watched a lot of, of Steve Nash. I still watch, I still watch Steve Nash a whole lot. Uh, I love the way he he found his he finds his teammates and all that. And then from from back home, the Biggest idol back home is, is just Carlos Arroyo. You you grow up watching him, and then and then JJ Barrea came too. So everybody in Puerto Rico knows them too. Uh, if you were a kid at that point and you and you you love basketball, you were watching Carlos Arroyo and JJ Barrea. So I I really enjoy watching everybody, uh, all of them. Oh, that's awesome because yeah, I remember Carlos Arroyo. I'm a Magic fan, so mm-hmm. I remember when he played for the Magic. So. <laughs> Um, definitely, um, I used to like watching Carlos Arroyo play, and I was actually gonna say Steve Nash because um, Steve Nash, you have a game like him, like where you just kind of you can score more, I believe it, and but you're more so trying to set up your teammates, and you have a really nice shot. So Appreciate I have to say it. that, like I used to play myself, um, had no shot, so <laughs> it was all about just trying to get to the hole. So I wish I had a shot. So just- I actually like your shot, and um, also just tell me because I know that. Um, the past two seasons, you've led the A Sun in assists. Um, last year, um, you led the A Sun in assists to turnover ratio, which is actually pretty awesome. So, I wanted to ask you just what is some of the benefit or looking for your teammates? Like, what do you love about that? I just, I just trying to get my teammates better. Uh, I feel like if I, I get my teammates better, uh, the team, the whole team, the team as a whole gets better, and uh, at the same time, I will get better too. And uh, and we we get the same from I get the same from my teammates. They try to make me better, each other better, and at the same time, uh, the whole the team gets better. So I just try to to keep a balance too. I like to uh, uh, let everybody get touches and all that, so so the offense can flow and move side to side, like we try to do all the time. And and just I feel like the game. If I have to score, it will like basically tell me it's your time to score. But when it's time to get everybody else involved is just it's the right time for everything okay i understand that and um just going into your season because this is your senior season was there anything that um you want to accomplish going into this season for uh, just more wins more wins uh get past that that semifinal in the in the tournament reach the championship and hopefully win win that championship that's that's the whole that's the team goal this year Okay. And playing in um, Coach Driscoll's system, just tell me, what is your job in the system? And just what's it like just playing there over the last two years? Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's a lot of confidence from the coaching staff and my teammates, too. They, they give me confidence. They trust me to make all the right plays. Uh, and uh, basically, my job is, is run, the, run the team, uh, be a leader for them in the court. Uh, and then just just make sure everybody is on the same page because when everybody's on the same page, that's when we're successful. So just just try to make sure everybody is is locked in and, and on the same page, and, and make sure everybody is uh just doing what we're supposed to do. Okay. And just last question, I wanted to ask you, just being a point guard because you did hit on that, just leading the team. Um, I wanted to ask you, just being a point guard just throughout your life. Um, what has it meant for you just going into your personal life, just leading? Um, as a as a person, uh, well, it's, it's it's meant a lot because a, a lot of the stuff I learned from the team and the coaching staff on the court, I can just translate it off the court. Just like a coach should, like a coach tells us, the way you treat people, the the way you do stuff, the discipline that you have for for stuff, not just basketball, it's just uh, school, your your personal life, everything that that you want to do in life, you just gotta treat it like. Like like you're out there playing as well. Like you, you gotta do what you're supposed to do, and and then let everything else like fall into place. Okay, cool. Well, um, I wanted to thank you for taking time out and talking to me. Thank you. Thank uh, you. I know you've had a busy summer. Um, get some rest. I will. I will. Enjoy your birthday. 
Um, I know tomorrow's your birthday, so don't turn up too hard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I wish you guys a lot of luck this season, okay? Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right, bye.